Hey all, welcome back to our channel and let's get started. When it comes to heavy load transportation across countries, we got no other option but to use large sailing cargoes, since air transport obviously is not cost efficient and feasible. In 21st century, we went through a lot, right from Australian fires, melting oceans and glaciers to the deadly pandemic. And believe it or not, it all has a common link to the environment and destruction we are causing. So are you interested to know how much these cargoes are affecting our environment? Well, to your surprise, 3-5% to of global CO2 emissions is done by the large traveler cargoes and practically we have no option to reduce it. That's the idea of cargoes driven by wind energy came into existence. Multiple marine giants got into researching and developing technologies to help a way out. Before we move any forward, please consider subscribing to our channel to stay updated with the latest inventions around the world. Norse Power came up with an idea of frigate spinners, which claims to reduce the fuel consumption by 20 to 30 percent, but actual results won't match the claim as per experts. A company called SkyScales came up with a parachute like structure, which is led into the air 100 to 300 meters above the cargo and helps sails when there are strong winds. It has found to reduce the consumption by 5 to 10 percent. And then came a company, Volnius Marine, with their very uniquely designed concept cargo and claims to have a whopping 90% reduction in fuel consumption. The concept cargo vessel from Volnius Marine, called Ocean Bird, is 200 meters long and 40 meters wide cargo vessel with its major component. Its wing sails all of 80 meters tall, giving the ship 100 meters high above water. You might be thinking it's all okay, but what about speed? because it matters too. We can't be waiting for months to get our shipment transferred and just keep waiting for the proper winds to speed up the cargo. Don't worry, this thing can sail across the Atlantic in just 12 days, which is pretty decent if it's almost 90% wind powered. Now what about the height? Isn't that too high to cross bridges and low height underpass? Well, thank you to telescopic construction of wing sails. They can be lowered, resulting in high reduction from 100 to just 50 meters. Also, the lowering of wind sails will help in avoiding in any infra damages due to the strong winds. Having known all this, the most important technical factor is space and load the vessel can carry. It would be pointless if we are doing all of these efforts to facilitate carrying of low loads and limited space. Volnius Marine surprised me here as well. As per calculations, the ship can carry around 7,000 real-sized cars. Isn't that insane? We have a lot to detail you about Oceanbird, its exteriors and interiors, safety features and much more. Stay tuned with us and consider subscribing for more videos.